Torah in two minutes-ish. I'm inside again today because, I mean, it's too cold to go out. But that means we can't talk about going out because we will talk about going out because this week in the Torah and Parashat Bo, uh, we talk about the going out from Egypt. This is the this is the uh, the climax of the plague narrative, and there's a lot going on. But my favorite moment comes at the very beginning because... Pharaoh says, Miva Mi'ochim, says Moses, says, let my people go so they can go. We just want to go a few days in the wilderness to worship God, then we'll come back. Pharaoh says, who's going? And Moses says, Benarenu, Ziknenu, Nelach, Vavanenu, Venotenu, Vetzetenu, Vakarenu, Nelach, Kichagar, Nelanu. It says, um, our young and our old and our sons and our daughters and our flocks and our herds, everyone's going. So the question is, why does he say everybody? Pharaoh says, just the men, because, you know, I'm keeping everyone back here, so that it's like a hostage situation. Um, but Moses says, look, we can't, we can't worship God with just part of us. We need all of us present. And that sentiment, that everyone, young and old, and everyone in between, every, whatever our sameness and whatever our differences are, that everyone's included in Jewish life, that's a sentiment that feels like it's present in this week's parsha, and that still has to be present. And even in a week like this, where at the beginning of the week, I know it's heretical to refer to something that happened days ago when news cycles are supposed to be measured in hours, when we marked the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz by the Red Army. Um, it's many things, but in part a reminder that we're still rebuilding a community that was destroy destroyed. And that obligation that comes on us to rebuild a vital Jewish life that's not just an echo of the past, but building on the past for the Jews of today and tomorrow is, um, is something that is not only a sacred obligation, though it's that. It's not something that we're reminded of only when we recall tragedy, though it's that as well. It's something that, it's this line in Exodus that requires young and old and uh, and males and females and everybody, everybody in any possible conception that it works. This is what it takes to build a holy community. Every type of Jew there is, every type of family there is that is connected to Judaism, this is who we use to find a place in our lives to help rebuild the sacred community that left Egypt long ago, that faced down the worst terrors of the 20th century, and that we can build on today for a vital Jewish life in the 21st. Shabbat Shalom.